Hey guys, this is Ix Roll at Ix with the rollout reviews doing another let's build. Today it's something sort of gigantic and complex and a little bit crazy. It'll probably be a disaster, but I guess we'll find out. This is Toa Matanui. Remember in my Mask Maker vs. Skull Grinder let's build when I said something along the lines of, hey, I don't have the golden Ignica Mask of Life because I never got the Toa Matanui set. Well, literally right after that video, I went on eBay and I saw one for a pretty good price and I won an auction and here we are. So that's kind of cool. I found it for less than $100, and that's really all I care about. This was a 2009 Toys R Us exclusive Titan set that I think ran for like $60. I actually remember seeing it on the shelves and being like, hey, it looks kind of weird, and it really has no relevance in the story, and I don't know, the mask is kind of cool, but I'm not sure if I have $60 to spend on that. And now I'm kind of kicking myself, because... It's something of a rare collector's item and goes for like at least $130 used in most cases and no less than $200 new in box. So, but I am kind of happy with the price that I paid for it. So there is that. As I understand, a lot of people that do have this set think it's kind of underwhelming and the only reason they bought it is for this mask. I can understand why this piece of plastic would not be worth the $130 price point alone. People who don't have it either don't want it at all or think it's too expensive. So I'm building it here, sharing my experience with you all, so that if you are one of those people, you can sort of live vicariously through me. Obviously, I got the set used here. Usually it comes in like these bags and they're numbered and you're supposed to, you know, open this one and build this first, open this one and build these, open this one and build that stuff. But, uh, I, I couldn't do that because they all came in one bag here, obviously. I have four tubs, three of which you can see. Most of the Technic parts are in here, all the yellow parts are in here, all the orange parts are in here, and then there's another one that's just kind of a, a bunch of uh, uh, silvery and bionically exclusive pieces, except for uh, these pieces in here. Now, this set, as I mentioned, was used, but it's in really, really good condition and is 100% complete. In fact, it actually included an extra thorn axe. The seller threw in an extra thorn axe when I think it's only supposed to come with one, but uh, there is that. Um, impressively, Almost all of the connector pieces are not split or cracked at all, which is pretty cool. All but uh, two of them. These two have little cracks in the ends here, and uh, then this piece also has a little crack in the end. Honestly, that's pretty good considering how many of these connector pieces are in this set. Uh, the 2008 to 2010 roughly version of the connector piece is awful and they like skimped on plastic maybe to make it cheaper or something whatever their plan was it didn't work because these are terrible and break way too easily i'm probably going to use these two for the uh, wrist ball joints so that they're easily replaceable so that I can take them off easy um, and I'll probably replace those eventually but uh, yeah so here's how we're gonna do this obviously as I mentioned I separated them all into these bins hopefully to make things easier but we're actually also gonna build it in a little bit of a uh, backwards or at least jumbled order because I don't like how they do things with Titan sets like this as far as the instruction booklets go, because like they have you build, like obviously it's like the torso first, and then they have you build like one of the legs, and then they have you build the other leg, and then they have you build one of the arms, and then the other arm, even though they're like exactly the same. I have always built Titans building like both of the limbs, 
and or both of the legs and both of the arms at once. I just feel it's more efficient in some way. Um, and like my brain can work like that. I, I understand probably some kids wouldn't be able to do that and they appreciate the duplicated instruction steps. But I am not one of those people. So I am going to be building it a little bit differently. Um, a little bit, um, I don't know, more efficiently, I think. I'm gonna build both of the legs first at once, then I'm gonna build the body, then both of the arms at once. So we'll see how that goes. We should probably get started because we're more than five minutes in and we haven't built anything at all. This is going to be two parts because, well, there's two manuals and I wanted to talk a lot before I started building. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm just gonna split this into two parts. Heads up, this is part one. Spoilers. Anyway, let's start. I'm going to actually, let's see, let's see, where did the legs actually start here? Torso, 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 more torso, even more torso. I think it's strange that it has you put on the mask before you're finished building the set. I always thought that was like a, a final thing you do, but I don't know. Anyway, here's the legs. Here's where they start on page 19-ish. So yeah, let's get started. Um, show. Yeah, as I mentioned, uh, this set is not really canon in any capacity. Uh, it has no point to the story. As I understand, it's sort of just an excuse to um, to build a, a set that includes a golden mask of life. And I mean, I guess, I guess I'm fine with that because, well, like, it gives you a golden mask of life. But uh, yeah, it, it doesn't really represent anything in the story. I guess you could argue, I'm gonna actually like put one leg over here and one leg over there. That's that's how we're gonna be doing things here. Um, I guess you could argue that maybe it's some kind of physical representation of the great spirit robot. You know, the big old robot that the Bionicle universe takes place in. Um, maybe, but I don't think that's what it is meant to be. Um, as far as like canon goes, it's just like I said, just kind of a, an excuse for the the golden mask of life. But uh, actually, in in the comic book, um, all our sins remembered, uh, illustrated by Stuart Sager, who is like my least favorite of the illustrators for the comic book, but whatever. Um, in his sort of, oh, I'm missing one more piece here. Um, in his sort of uh, artistic liberty, uh, he illustrates the Great Spirit Robot looking like the Glatorian Mata Nui set, and that, you know, this sort of looks like that. So you could pretend that this is, in fact, supposed to be the Great Spirit Robot, but um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not entirely convinced. Uh, oh well, though. So, earlier this year, I got Ultimate Duma, which is uh, like a big Mata Nui, or big Metro Nui uh, combiner set kind of deal. And um, I actually tried doing a Let's Build for that and, and failed miserably because it was sort of on my old setup and uh, like in another room with like poor lighting. Basically how I did like the earlier, uh, uh, beat them on let's builds and um, it, they just turned out really bad and they were way too long and I don't know I didn't like them so I didn't upload them but um, I think it's kind of cool that like I could have this set like facing that giant Makuta, like a giant Makuta versus a giant Mata Nui. That sounds really cool to me. Um, it, it's it's kind of similar to like the, uh, this is not the right axle piece, hold on. It's kind of similar to like the, the 2008 Takanuva, because like in 2003 you had a small, smaller-ish Takanuva set, and then you had like a smaller, um, Makuta set, and then in 2004 we got a big old Makuta, and then 2008 we got a big old Takanuva. So that was kind of neat, but I mean, like I said, 
it's sort of like Mata Nui versus Lakuda is sort of the overarching thing. So pitting this set up against Ultimate Duma will be kind of neat and kind of cool. I don't know where I was going with that. But, well, I guess that's where I was going with that exactly. There's no more. End of story. There you go. So this set really isn't... Um, it isn't the biggest Titan, if you consider vehicles Titans. Um, I know some people do, some people don't. Um, it's it's the biggest humanoid Titan that is a standalone set, uh, not including combiner models, because obviously, like, the Karas Dragon and... Uh, <laughs> I think Voparak actually are bigger. I don't think Ultimate Duma is bigger than this as far as parts and height goes. Definitely not height. Well, maybe at the top of the wings, but not not by uh, parts. Um, but yeah, Cardus Dragon and I think Voparak, the 2005 combiner, are in fact bigger than this. Uh, maybe, maybe some others? I don't know. Uh, like I said, including vehicles, the Axelara and the Scopio are the two biggest uh, Bionicle sets. They came out in 2008 and 2009, I believe, respectively. We're building feet, by the way. Am I doing this right? Hello? Hello? Um, you are supposed to fit. Oh, I think actually what the instructions has me doing here is kind of smart. It has me putting it on like this and then sliding this through, but wait. Hmm. This doesn't really fit. <laughs> Does it just want me to force it? Because I can. I can force it if you want me to. Hmm. It's kind of kind of a thing. What am I doing wrong here? Oh, do I, did I put this on? One, two, yeah, I did. Pff, pff, look at me, screwing up already. Come on, there you go. Um, and then now this should fit, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Uh, that means I have to redo this section too. Anyway, yeah, like, this is not only an excuse to, to pack in a uh, golden mask of life, but it's also an excuse just to, in like the last full year, um, you know, th there was the 2010, but that really wasn't a full year. That was just like, let's wrap everything up quick. But, um, like, it was also an excuse just to make like the tallest Titan ever. I think the box might say like the biggest Titan ever on it because it is the tallest at the very least, but um, again, if you count vehicles, it really isn't the biggest, so, and combiner models, for that matter. Okie dokie, so this is definitely starting to look like a foot, like that. Um, it's also worth noting that this is basically based off of, uh, off of that Titan Takanuva set I was talking about, the 2008 one, the big old one. Um, it, the build is not identical, like it's not the same, I wouldn't say, but it, this takes a lot of inspiration from that. It's built in a similar way, I'll say it like that. Um, but, uh, there's that. he's got feet on the sides of his feet and feet on the top of his feet. He's got very feety feet. I'm sorry. <laughs> this, this is certainly gonna be a thing. I can already tell. I, I'm like, I'm slightly pessimistic about this, I realize, but, um, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I, should, I should be more optimistic about it. No, this is, this is gonna be great. This is gonna be so worth it and fun and fantastic and I'm sure the set is gonna be the cool best set ever. The cool best, you know what? You know what? Yeah. 
let's just let's just look at it at that with that outlook, outlook um, uh, because I forgot a piece here. Hold on. Yeah, let's just approach this with that that outlook, uh, and and we'll probably be much better off that way. So yeah, man. Whoa, we're only only 15 minutes in and we only have two feet built that's great progress i don't know maybe this isn't as efficient as i thought maybe maybe the instructions do have something going for them that i, I just haven't oh that flew out of my hands haven't been uh haven't been acknowledging for the last all my life <laughs> or maybe i am doing something good here i don't know i don't know Tell me in the comments what you do. Do you do it like this? Do you build like both legs and both arms at once? Or um, or do you do it the way I do here? All synchronized and whatnot. Let me know. Um, I know I've, I've been building it for a little while here, but, but I, do, I do think it's weird that like some of the parts are yellow and then some of the parts are orange and then there are some golden parts too. Like it, it seems weird to me that all that all that seems weird um but i don't know like i don't know why they didn't just make all of it orange or all of it yellow i guess the gold is fine um especially for the mask because that's like the whole point um hold on let me be careful with this so that as i don't uh break this okay we're good i think yeah we're good uh, on some sets um I, I, and especially when I'm not filming it, obviously, I actually like, um, hold on, this is, this is gonna bother me forever if I don't do this, line that up. Anyway, um, I actually like hit those pieces with a, with a blow dryer. <laughs> I, I don't know if that is worse or better, but like it softens up the plastic and it makes it a little bit more, um, uh, uh, springy, I guess, or a little bit more lenient at the very least. And in my mind, it, it makes it less likely that the connectors will snap. So sometimes if I am really cautious and really don't want to break the piece, um, you know, these, these awful connector types here, um, I will blow dry the part. And that, that usually helps, uh, uh, not a single part is broken if I've done that to it, but I'm taking risks here because I'm behind a camera and uh, If I do break any here, hopefully I don't but if I do then I can I suppose I can just replace them and then do that blow drying technique when I'm not Having a camera in front of me in a space and whatever anyway, you know what I'm saying You know what I'm saying you feel me. Okay, so I'm gonna set these off to the side because now we're starting to build these shins going all right so far. I mean, no, I, I'm supposed to be optimistic. It's going fantastic so far. <clears throat> shins. We're building shins. Let's see, what else can I talk about? I can talk about uh, uh, things. You know what? This is, that's a bad idea. Let's just uh, continue talking about what we're building. Is this the right connector piece or uh, axle? I mean, yeah, it is. Totally is. Sweet. So that goes through there, and then that goes through there like that, and then that goes on like that, and then that goes on like that. And then we get another one of these. Slide this through here. I know all the pieces are here. Like I know all the uh, technique looking pieces are in here. So if I see one, like I just need to look in there. No, I don't need to look in any of these other ones. So that's a bonus. That helps me a little bit, like a little bit. <laughs> I mean, I'm still kind of scrambling to look for parts from time to time, but oh well, it's just how I do things. I'm blind most of the time. Okay, so now we've gotten, oh, actually let's slide this piece through here. And then we'll build a second one of these. Boom, okie dokie. So, 
I'm just gonna actually use that one for reference. Not even look at the instructions, cause I am that good. So actually tilt my lights a little bit this way, like that. Did that help? I don't know. <laughs> I can, I mean, you could probably tell better than I can if that helped at all. Oh, I need actually this piece first. One of these things. Boom. Now, this goes through. Right? Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. We're doing good so far. I'm just, I'm just hesitant because, I mean, I've mentioned this multiple times before, and I mean, obviously, if you've seen the Lord of Skull Spiders <laughs> Let's Build, uh, you know my struggle. But um, with Technic builds like this, I, I am very hesitant because if I do something wrong in here and have to, you know, take apart the whole thing, that'll be, that'll just be a nightmare. Okay, so we have a second one of these built. Um, actually, something similar happened in those Let's Builds that never went up for Ultimate Duma. I actually built, uh, I did a Let's Build for Krekka, Nidiki, and Duma, and Nibok, and then took them all apart and did a Let's Build for, uh, for, for Ultimate Duma. And um, they were all really long and not very well lit at all, and... Um, and I actually screwed up a couple times <laughs> and did exactly that, like had to take things apart. It just wasn't a good, it just was not a good at all. So that's why you never saw them. I'm, I'm sorry, I apologize, but I'm trying to make this a little bit more streamlined and uh, obviously much more visible, no matter how long this takes. So there you go. I mean, you can see, you can see the timestamp. You can see how long this video is gonna be when you go into it. So you're putting yourself through this if you've gotten this far. And I hope you're enjoying it. If you aren't, I don't know why you're 20 minutes into this video. 23 almost, man. Why do you do this to yourself? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, some people just like listening to me talk. And that's it. Is that really, like, that armor piece just, like, sticks off the shin like that? I don't know. Anyway, these attach down here. And I don't think it, because they're exactly the same as each other, I don't think it matters. So, boom. There we go. We got a, a lower leg so far. And it's already this big. I have no idea, once all is said and done, how I'm gonna fit this whole thing on camera. We'll see how that goes. I haven't thought that far into the process. <laughs> so... <sighs> no, man, this is gonna be great. This is gonna be fantastic. Optimism. Okay. So... What are we doing now? Okay, let's let's get to the end of this page, building this section, and then I'll start building. Uh, there's a lot of connectors. Anyway, um, and then I'll start building the second one here. I'm sure that the way I'm doing this here is probably gonna annoy some people. Uh, I'm sure there are some, you know purists, like Lego purist instruction uh, s snobby people who are like, no, you have to do it the way Lego intended because they did it that way for a reason. But you're not my mom. Okay. Um, yeah, this goes like this. Okay. Boom. Boomscape. 
Boomtron 9000. Is that too far? That might be too far. Um, do I, do I, oh yeah, I need, like, let's see. Brain, work! Ta-da! Wait. Is that right? Is that, is that good? Am I doing this good? Is it really, um, is it really good? Okay. Uh, yes. Then this goes here. Like that. And then this slides through... Wait, what? Yes? Yes. Yeah! I don't know why I was questioning myself. I'm good. I'm good. We're good. At this point, we're still... No, we're not good. Oh, no! What have I done? Nothing too bad, I don't think. <laughs> don't know if you couldn't tell, but I am always in a much different state in these videos than I am when making my more formal reviews. <laughs> in these videos, I just, I just get to kind of go crazy. Max Cash. Max casuality. I've already run out of things to say. Can you believe it? Probably. I mean, it's sort of very well new going into this. It was gonna take forever, and it seems to be that way. It's a big set, it is. Um, I'm enjoying it so far, I mean, it's not, I mean, we'll, we'll see, like I said, I think the color scheme choices are strange, but so far, that's really the only thing I'm, I'm disliking. Um, maybe if I would have built uh, Toa, Ma uh, not Toa, this is Toa Mata Nui, what? If I would have uh, built uh, the Titan Takanuva from 2008, like, uh, closer to this, like, I built that in 2008, that was one of, like, the few actual, that was one of the few 2008 sets I actually got in 2008, I don't know, I went through a phase where, like, I, I was still into Bionicle, I still read the comics, read the books, followed the story, but, like, I didn't really buy a whole lot of the sets, like, I've gone back and have, have bought, like, all of the 2008 Toa and and some of the Titans and things, but um, anyway, I built that Takanuva set back in 2008. Uh, it's still like my favorite Lego set. I'm I'm just gonna say that right now. Like, I think Titan Takanuva is fantastic. I love the way it looks. I love the way it's built. I love almost everything about that set. Um, and this set is built something similar to it, so I mean, it, it can't be that bad, right? You know, it's, it's sort of based off, based off of my favorite set, so... Let's see, how is this? Brain! Work! Okay, let's go, let's go this way, right? Right? Okay, I'm sorry. That's the one problem, building it in this way. Um, I guess there's more than one problem, let's be completely honest, but uh, it's like, you get, I kind of get turned around sometimes, but oh well. I feel like I'm making more progress if I do it this way, personally, even though that might not be completely true. <laughs> that's, that's just, it's what I like doing. Like, I don't like building a leg and then having to build the same leg over again. I'd rather build both of them at the same time. That's just, it's just, it's a personal thing, probably. I don't know. Anyway, there you go. There you have those. Now what? Now, uh, which one am I looking at here? What? Which one? Oh. Did I put the, did I, did I do a thing? Did I do a thing I was supposed to do? I'm 
might have. Might have. No, I didn't. What? Then what? Ooh. I skipped a step. I'm bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is starting to become a bigger flaw than I thought it would be. Building these not as intended, but oh well. There we go. Okay. And then this goes on there like that. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, wrong, wrong. There we go. And there we go. Okay, back on track. That is not the right piece. That is not the right, back, not back on track at all. Okay, now we're good. Where did I put that thing? There it is. Okay. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. We got some things. Are those just gonna, are those axles just gonna stick up there? Is that what's gonna happen? I think that's probably what's gonna happen. But I think that's, that's more or less the upper legs done. Um, now I need to make some pistony things. I do like these pistons. Um, I think it was a really cool concept in, in 2006. And very much like the Anika build, they sort of just beat it to death after a while, but it's still kind of cool. Like actual, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, actual like working pistons, still kind of neat. So yeah, that then goes uh, here. It's, um, Kind of difficult to get a grip on this because of all the pieces around, but I, again, want to be cautious and not snap it into a million pieces. Are you good? Are you good? Are you not broken? Because that's what we want. We want not broken. Ooh, there's a little bit of a crack there. I don't think I did the, that though. It's not broken. It's not actually cracked all the way through, but there's a little, little bit of a hairline starting to uh, show up there. Oh well. Oh well. It's something you just kind of have to expect on these sets. Um, surprisingly, not a single connector piece broke on my uh, Titan Takanuva. So there is that. Uh, but, I don't know. Maybe the plastic got even worse in 2009? Seems likely, maybe, that that happened. I don't know. So we're building another one of these, and then we're gonna attach these to, to what we have built over on that other table that you can't see, um, that we built earlier, the feet. And then, that's gonna be the end of this part. Yay! Yay! You've almost got through the whole video. And then there's gonna be another video. Cause that's how parts work. Okay, again. Let's try and be careful. Yay, no breaking. No breaking at all. Okay, so there we have some things. Uh, which which leg does this actually go on here? Uh, this is the inside of the leg, actually. So they're gonna be like that, which seems a little bit weird to me. Oh, actually, um, I think, did I? No. No, I actually still have something to add on to this. Dang it! Okay, um... So the legs will be like that. Okay, and then I... need to add... another thing on the front. Actually, another piston! All the pistons! I guess, like, this, um... Toe Matanui set does have like the pistons in the torso similar to the Great Spirit Robot. That's kind of the only similarity though. But anyway. So I lied, we're sort of almost not sort of done. I mean, we're kind of done. We're almost done. We're not as close as I thought we were, but we're getting there. So yeah, 
Boom. Now I just gotta build a second one of these. Isn't this fun? Aren't you having a blast? I'm having a blast. Lego is fun. But I'm probably gonna take a break here in between the parts myself. Go do something else. If not, just because it's really hot in this room. I have all my studio lights on and it's like kind of hot outside and I turned my fans off because I'm stupid and didn't want them interfering with the audio. The things I do for you people. Okay. So, let's see, this one goes on here. Don't break, don't break, don't break. There's a hair, ew, ick, ick, ick. Okay, um, is this the right side? Oh, it's not the right side. I had one job. Okay, there we go. So that is a thing, and then we'll attach that to the leg once we, once we have the other side all done and attached, okay. Oh man, oh no, there's another broken one. Oh, dang it. That's not, it's not broke. Is it broken all the way? Ah, ech, ech. I didn't even notice that one. Okay, so there are three broken ones, I guess. Uh, anyway, I'll, I'll, I'll break link it, I'll replace it. It's not a big deal. <sighs> so, now what we do this is how we do, is take this, or rather this, plug that on here. Don't break, don't break, don't break. Are you broken? Is anything, no, no, nothing's broken there. Good, 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 good. What's going on here? Something gonna, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh no, I thought we were kinda close to almost done. There's still more thing to add on the side of the legs. This is, this is getting my hopes up. I am so sorry, because <laughs> there's still things we had to... Uh... I was so ready to, 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 to pause, to end part one, and I don't know, get something to drink, and have a grand old time taking a break. But it turns out, that we actually have a little bit more work to do. Now, only a little bit, actually. Um, okay, so there's the bulk of the legs. And now, basically, we just gotta take these pieces, uh, which were on that uh, fancy jet tracks. There was like a special edition, some kind of special edition jet tracks that had these uh, like supercharged yellow things. And um, yeah, these are kind of the same piece, I think. I don't know, like, I don't know why that was like a special edition. I mean, like, it, it, it seemed very shoehorned at the time. They were like, oh no, uh, Antroz crashes the jet racks into a lightstone on his way out, and it supercharges it. Seems to me like they could have just uh, <laughs> included spare parts to make it yellow if you wanted wanted that to be the case, but I guess that, that doesn't... Uh, that doesn't uh, get you get you the monies. It doesn't uh, pay the bills. Okay. So that should be it, right? Like that. That should be yeah. Okay. Legs done. Finally. Forty minutes later, almost forty minutes later. There you go. There's some big old legs. Uh, let's actually pan the camera up here just a little bit. Just just a wee bit. So you can kind of see how big this thing is going to be. Beyond the backdrop. Yeah, that, okay. Yeah, this guy's going to be massive. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll probably bring the camera back once all is said and done and, and show him off all big and, and all, in all his glory. But uh, yeah, there are the legs. So that concludes part one. Uh, it's been a thing. It's been a ride. Part two will probably be just as much of a thing, if not more of a thing, whatever that means. <laughs>
So I've wasted enough of your time for one sitting at this point. I'm gonna let you go. I'll see you in the next part. And that is about it. So this is IX Roll at IX, signing off for now.